I'm here at Gothland, which you might recognise from Heartbeat and that, um, that film about the little wizard, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember what it's called, some film about a wizard. Hello and welcome back to Bugle Scully Station and who's that? Oh, it's me. Hi. We've no, we've no idea why we're here. And welcome to LMM. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided I'm going to ruin as many people's openings Go as possible. Go for it. Oh, and we're going to back, back to get run over as well. Die. Well, come on. How are you anyway? Yes, I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Hi. What are we doing here today? I was hoping you would be able to tell me. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, we don't know anything. In fact, this morning over breakfast when we met, we informed you guys of what we knew, which was more than you knew. Yeah, and I, everything I knew would turn out to be a lie. Yeah. The folks at TMC, the model centre, invited us up to Gothland in the North York Moors. So I spent a couple of days with some legends of Model Railway YouTube and Craig from Iron Horse Railways. Is that better? We've got more of this? Howard was giving nothing away at this stage. All we knew is that we'd been split into two teams. Chris from Peachy TT 120, Jenny Kirk, and Craig from Iron Horse Railways. And our team, well, that was me, obviously, and Charles from Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. Charles is a superb model in the way he has an addiction to buy model trains. A cure scale half my bank details. <laughs> and of course, Laurie from Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a fun day. We're at a distinct disadvantage because the other guys who have been taken away in a vehicle and probably know what's going on are in the house colours. We are not in house colours, so we're obviously, we're the underdogs. Yeah. And so um, we genuinely don't know what's going on. Like there's absolutely, they got in a car and left. So they're going to catch the train. Yeah, we, we've been, it was, it was slipped that there is a train. We're not sure if we were meant to get into cars ourselves and follow as the favourites in the house colour that they were. I think we're all getting in that. <laughs> this is going to be a good day, I can feel it. We're friends now. Get your hand off me. <laughs> Black five. So I've no idea why we're here still. I assume we're going on a uh, train ride. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. My understanding is correct. This is a class known as a Delta. I know trains. So we're here at Gothland, um, and we've still got no idea what's going on. We've just seen the train leave. Um, it sounds like we're going to be catching the next one. So uh, looks like the next train's gone. We were then treated to a VIP journey behind a massive 9F logo. Our guide on the journey from Gothland to Pickering and back was Roger Swift, who gave us a history of the line. So are you Roger Moore? Not Roger Moore, no. Just Roger Moore. Not Roger Moore. Okay.
So we hired the Village Hall. YouTubers, welcome to the TMC YouTube Challenge. You have precisely 24 hours to construct a diorama based on the inspiring North Yorkshire Moors landscape. And it must incorporate at least one element also inspired by the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. It must also include a kit, be it a card kit or a plastic kit. You have exactly 24 hours. You have gift vouchers, which are loaded with £150 to spend on our website. No These gift vouchers are also available for you to purchase on our website and give to a friend, ideal as a birthday gift. So we've been asked to create a diorama based on the North Yorkshire Moors and um, how beautiful the area is. The main features, the boggy grass, it's not all one level. Um, we've got the purple of the heather, we've got gold and yellow, we've got brown of the sheep bits. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's lots of different colours, very subtle variations, dead grass and fresh green grass all coming together. And I think recreating that in 176 scale might be a bit of a challenge. Imagine this is the size of that. So I'm thinking from about there <laughs> to there, we've got a, the truck bed, which is raised up by, what, about five centimetres? Mm -hmm. So we've got a, a dip down to here. Mm -hmm and then a hill up to here, and a track that goes under. With any diorama or model railway, the first thing to remember is that the landscape was here before the track. So you don't want to be building your track flat on the board. You want undulation. You want something possibly going under, something going over, but you want those levels so that it looks a lot more realistic and set into the landscape. During the planning stage, Laurie surprised us all with a good idea. We've decided to take inspiration from Roger's talk on the train, and we're setting the diorama 200 years ago when the original wagonway was being laid across the marsh. Our diorama would feature a river in the foreground with an old blacksmith's forge alongside. Higher up the hill, the tracks being laid with wider sleeper spacing correct to the period. And on the right hand side, the boggy marshy ground is being covered by men with bundles of heather and branches. The real railway was effectively floated using these bundles, covered with tar and rubble to cross the boggy terrain. We'll have heather and golden grasses, plenty of sheep and a horse and cart on a thick rutted dirt track representing the only means of traversing the moors before the railways arrived. Losing the bridge. I just want because I just want it because that part really, if we do that, I've got a couple of pictures like the summit and stuff around that, we can really base it and be like, well, we've made this bit as they were building this bit here, because I'm sure that'll give us kudos with those guys. Yeah. Because then we're, we're not just building inspired by. We're, we're making a, this is building a railway. We were so inspired with the crossing of the thing. And we keep the heather, and we keep the hill in the background because it's all there. Yeah. So, if it's, so if that's level, that would be level with the, the, the farm track road or something yeah. if you want, still want to cross it. I think, I think yeah, cause we'll put a whole, let's put a track in there because that's an important part of the story. Yeah. And so this ends about here. I think um, sheep. Yeah, oh, loads of sheep. Yeah. Uh, horses. They would have used horses. It's yeah. basically going to be lots of little tiny things to paint. Are you any good at painting figures? Mm. I mean, I'm all right at it, but it takes a long time. It takes a long time. We'll all have to do it, I think. Yeah. It looked like the other team were busy too, but you'll have to watch Jenny's video and Craig's video to find out how their planning stage went. Now, we're not completely heartless here at TMC, so we've provided the contestants with some tools. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Right, so we hide all this so they can't nick it off us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've got some good stuff. Plastic glue. Yeah. yeah. Plastic glue. Super glue. That's useful. That's useful. Files and stuff. That's useful. We need... A, we need... Well, I feel if I say this is a safe idea, no, definitely not. That's just... Did we build them from a yeah. And they weren't... 
Go on, defer. Okay. I don't understand how it went. Oh, God, I'm waiting for this. I want to do this all night. I know you do. I wouldn't mind doing it all night, as long as we get to go to the pub. Oh, that does work, yeah. Oh, God! So this will be the outer edge that we cut down to the heights that we need. Yeah, yeah. Goes all the way around, and then we've got that and so there the track bed height. Oh, perfect! Yeah. And then that can be, and all we naturally need, rather than foam and is um, yeah, yeah, card to do. Okay. Yeah. We can um, that's much better. That's a lot easier. Or we can fix it post. So if I cut this hill up. There, yeah, and then we should measure is to make sure it's this one. And it shouldn't matter that much because it's the, the yeah, yeah, it's coming away from that. I'm but, but you're right actually because that is that's the higher bit, so if that's about there, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah, because it would be, yeah. I'm going to do a whole model railway now. We're going to build the structure that we need with the card. Like the it's like a strut. That's how I got my module for our module challenge. Yeah. I cut out all the Yeah. Cool. <laughs> on with the build. Um, you are aware though the other team has actually placed their order on the website. Yeah but it's a website, it's open all the time. Okay, fair <laughs> point. <laughs> We've so got big plans. What, what are we building? What are the big plans? Well this is a, a, a diorama. Mm -hmm. It is of a... It's of not motorised. No, no, so it's a, a pretty thing. So what we've done here, as you can clearly see from this diagram, is um, this is a bog, this is a railway, and this is a track. Mm -hmm. So what we've actually done is we've taken inspiration from the beautiful scenics of, of the moors, particularly what gives them heather up here and the contrast in colours. They've followed the brief well so far. And we were really particularly taken by the story of um, the way that they crossed the bog. Okay. And so what we want to do is the early railway is being constructed and make some tiny bundles here as we're crossing the bog. But what we want to do is to show that early days of the railway of being constructed across the bog and tell the story. We want to have a couple of horses and carts here to kind of show this is what we had before and this was the modern day coming. And so we've taken what we've been told of the history and combining some of the beautiful scenic aspects. And at least, at least one sheep. At least one yes. sheep. You've got to have a sheep. And a small building here, which will probably be a dilapidated wayward station, which would now be falling out of use with the government of the railway. So that'll be our kit build. We just need to work out what we're doing with that. Yeah. I'm impressed, but we're going to see it built. Because that yeah, does look I mean. as fine enough. Yes, no, that's sticks. exactly what I was looking for. That's exactly what I meant. Mm. Do you reckon we can use like these or just use something else to tie them together? Well, they're just staples. They're just literally staples to put them together. I think what would be better and more economical is if we buy just a bit of wire yeah. Yeah, and then we can wire. tie it up and cut it back. Yeah. It'd be easier to do as well. Just to pick just one of these. Yes. That's well done. That's exactly that's what we need. Really yeah. Because that would be brilliant for the head there. Really close. This is really good. That stretches out. It's like a fibre, and you pull it out over oh, the top. Yeah. It's really good. It goes a lot thinner because I used that before. So if we use that with like um, a base of some of the green, and, yeah, uh, some a static grass to make it lift it, like yeah, it off and yeah. rinse in the top, that'd be awesome. Um, would it make sense for you guys to do that? Yeah. Got a weather and with it on on Skyrim. Yeah, well, you might, yeah, well, you might as well just have them as long as we're comfortable and shift them. Yeah, it's been a great seller. 
TMC shop is definitely impressive and worth a visit, with everything the modeler could need. But we only had a budget of £150, and we realised that it doesn't actually get you that much in this day and age. Is that, is that that's expensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. for a crew. So, um, farm animals, farm horses, livestock. It'll turn you into a farm. Eventually, we got the bill down to £150 and went to the pub. Then, after the pub, we decided to make the most of our 24 hours and we headed back to the village hall to get the basic structure of the diorama completed. What we've done here is we were told we were not allowed to go and get stuff from outside. Now that's categorically could not go pick up sticks, stones, anything outside. What they never said was about taking stuff that was already in the village hall. So, uh, we found these boxes. We don't know what they're for, but we found boxes. I'm literally not trust us to do anything but cut up paper towels. Now to sleep and hope the tissue paper structure dries solid overnight. The situation is, the papier-mâché isn't fully dry, as dry as we'd hope, um, so Charles is just um, covering it in scenic glue, hoping to add a sort of solid layer over the top. Uh, Laurie's using his hair dryer, um, which uh, he always has in his bag. And uh, yeah, we're just making sure it's um, <laughs> tip top. It's drying your hair. Paint! <laughs> no time for drop, paint! While we were waiting for the modelling supplies to arrive from TMC, the other team got bored. I would never stoop so low. Soon the folks from TMC arrived with bags of goodies. Definitely empty. Best of luck. We didn't order any of this. Where's the coronation and the set of coaches? There we go, that's it. It's the first railway on Neptune. We're done. Yeah. Back before the railways, the only way to get around... <sighs> the only way to get around would have been by horse and cart. But the roads didn't look like this. In fact, this road is... Uh, for the UK, this is really a nice road. Roads were little more than mud paths and because obviously all the vehicles were horse-drawn carts with very thin wheels they were very very deep rutted and muddy and that's what we've got to recreate in model form so the way that we're going to do this is with modeling clay because it should set in the time that we've got and gloss varnish you might be wondering why our t-shirts have suddenly changed color this was filmed on the same day, but TMC took our team shirts away with a promise of a surprise later on. As I made a start sculpting the rutted muddy road out of modelling clay, Charles began putting together a Slater's horse and cart kit. Laurie took on the seemingly never-ending task of making bundles of branches out of Woodland Scenics field grass. We needed a little bit of wire and we couldn't afford anything at TMC because it's too expensive. So what Laurie did was he destroyed his £50 microphone. But yeah, on the plus side obviously, as you can see, we don't have to listen to him anymore. The greater good. <laughs> Thank you.
When the kit is ready for assembly, use polystyrene liquid cement with a suitable brush. It is not advised to use tube cement as it's likely to dissolve some of the fine mouldings. Okay. That is the end of the instructions. I've now well, I think the that is liquid poly cement, whatever it's asked for. That's what you need. That's it. There is less instructions than there is history and livery information on this instruction sheet. That is poor. Look at that. However, I have made a bundle. So what I'm doing now is I'm building a Wills kit, which is basically a little plastic kit. So I'm going to cut all the pieces out first, and then lose them all, assuming that's a bit. And then 3D printer a basement. Yeah. Got a can, one can. I think that looks all right. Charles, have you actually ever seen a sheep before? I do know what sheep look like. I do live in the countryside. Just watch Sean the sheep. It's a bit too intellectual for him. This is not how you ballast, but this is how we're going to have to do it today. This is how you do speed ballasting. You see how we're doing it? We hadn't realised when we initially received our items that the black paint was missing. So it's all coming to a bit of a head now. We're basically just sitting here, spinning engines in mid gear, not going anywhere, because we're waiting on some black which we ordered initially, and it's not been in our order. It was swapped out for a different colour which we don't need, and we really need the black because that's a, a wash that we're going to use to go over everything. And we're at the stage that we need to put that wash on to everything before we can move on to the rest of the scenics. And he's not here. And we said this a while ago. And that, yeah, he's coming. He's coming. And now we're like, we're literally running out of things to do. Well done. We need to do something on the back of that car. We also we've got that still if want to cut that off. Yeah, we could be delivering big bits of plastic. Okay, the construction. There you go. <laughs>
they're delivering the original uh, Slater's kits. Look, that looks really good down there. That's come together really nice. And that is such a lovely muddy track. Look at it. Thanks. So it's about 20 to 2 now, so we've got about uh, two hours, two and a half hours left. Yeah, I'm just about. And uh, no black paint. It's open out the workshop. Acrylic non baseball paint. Oh, it's real match. Perfect. We have black. TMC also brought our team shirts back, and on the reverse, their in-house graffiti artist Phil had added some incredible customization. With only one hour remaining and a lot left to do, we were called into the headmaster's office. Right now, you three. Sorry. What happened last night? You took us out for a lovely meal. It's really nice, well, thank you. Nice, yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed it, thank you. Before that. I, Before that, we I was here. driving home and saw some lights on actually, but yeah. it was quite late actually, because we oh, went out to the warehouse, didn't we, last night? Midnight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was later than that. It was definitely like that. <laughs> but uh, if you uh, rewind the footage, you'll notice that when you launched this, you said it was a 24-hour challenge. Yes, and we have true. We have used the 24-hour that you've given us, which was very nice of you. I'm trying to think of a way of giving them a penalty, but the way you just phrased that, actually... <laughs> maybe, you also... You maybe, also maybe, we, are very, we, are, we are very aware that we have not broken the rules. <laughs> yeah. We, we are maybe pushing the rules, but we are very aware that we have not broken the rules. Also... Yeah. Just straight to camera, he gave me the keys to come yes. back in. <laughs> and we, we didn't use any materials that weren't already in this hall. <coughs> no, we have not. We have raided the hall, yeah. but everything came was already oh, here when we started. You kind of got you here. <laughs> 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 You know those bundles of sticks that you spent 14 hours making? <laughs> <laughs> They're just there as well. So finally, we did it. The 24 hours were up, and we were all really pleased with the result.
But of course, we weren't the only team in this competition. And Jenny, Chris and Craig did a fantastic job with their diorama too. But this is a competition, so let's find out who won the TMC YouTube Challenge 2024. We can reveal that the winner of the TMC YouTube Challenge 2024 is... <laughs> 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 we particularly liked the historical aspects. Mm that you picked out from the discussion uh, on the train yesterday. Um, we, we liked the, and um, both the standard of modelling on both was very, very high indeed. Um, we liked the historical aspects, particularly the man with the gun and the dead horse, <laughs> you know, as a master stroke and the crows on the roof. Um, the cart in the muddy track, because that's literally what the Moors Road was before the railway came around. Just a muddy cart track, which would have been considerably deeper in mud than that. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, on the this, the second one, um, we liked the evocation of the heather and the rock, and the fact that you'd slewed the track over with the peeway hood. Uh, we we thought the water was a masterstroke. The water was really very well modelled indeed. But for both of us, the historical aspect of this one swung it. It was, good. it was it was a close call, I think, because the other guys had a really nice, really nice diorama, yeah. some really good work on both sides. We really we pushed the rules. We were told we had 24 hours, and we put a lot of effort into it. But how quickly the other guys came on with their module? Because we were like, oh, we're going to do because we put so much extra time in, it's going to stand out so much more. Like we've got this, and then we saw what you guys have been doing, the other guys have been doing, it, and we're like, oh. <laughs> How have they done this in such little time? We we were here till this morning. We put so many extra hours in to get this done. We were all smug this morning and be like, ha we've got this. And they went, oh, where's all this coming from? You could just see behind us this, this structure being built. And we're like, why do we stay up to midnight? This was, we didn't need to do this apparently. Yeah, we, we really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the other team, great team, really got on well with yeah. them. And essentially, we've had an amazing time. And I, I think we would all like to thank TMC for inviting us. It's you know, a great opportunity Absolutely. to be a part of this. Yeah. And it was a good one. The other guys were great. Yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> That's okay. I've made a new friend out of this. Get your hand off me, seriously. <laughs> Okay. No, we've really enjoyed it. Thank, thank <laughs> yeah, you, thank you TMC, for having us. It's been a real uh, pleasure. Yeah, and thank you to, to everyone who, who came along uh, on the losing team as well. And if you at home want to do something like this, remember TMC will sell you all the bits you need to make yourself a diorama. Yeah, and they might arrive. Maybe not on time, but they might arrive. <laughs> <laughs>